afternoon, Ingleside. I'm Nolan. And I'm Cole. Anyways, did you know that on this day in 1990, the Hubble telescope sent its first images from space? There will be an informational meeting for all current 7th grade parents and students who would like to go on the Washington, D.C. trip in 2020. The meeting will be on Tuesday, May 22nd, in the library from 5 to 6 p.m., which is tomorrow. Early sign-up will ensure cost savings for the 2020 D.C. trip. Following that meeting, on Tuesday, May 22nd, at 6 p.m., will be a mandatory meeting for students going on this year's Washington, D.C. trip and their parents. We'll go over important information to prepare for the trip. All delegates and parents must attend. Today for Ingleside ABCs was Scarf Day, so it was cool to see all the scarves. Tomorrow is Teacher Appreciation Day, and on Wednesday is USA Day. Make sure to so show your appreciation for your teachers tomorrow, and patriotic on Wednesday. Let's go to school. up Ingleside there's no Ingleside, Ingleside sports sorry but there is Arcadia sports there's palms and dance tryouts for Arcadia over the summer for more details go to the Arcadia high school website and go to the athletics part of it in other news the Warriors play the Trails Blazers tonight at 6 p.m. my official predictions for the NBA playoffs are the Warriors playing the Bucks in the finals. In the finals, the Bucks will win the series 4-3 to three and be the champions. In the NHL, the playoffs are going on and they are in the conference finals. The odds are on the Boston Bruins, Boston Bruins winning the finals and I think the Bruins are going to win the finals too. Now back to your anchors. Side, happy Monday. The weather to be today will be a high of 92 and a low of 61. It will also be partly cloudy. Here is a quick clip of Miss Trion talking about the other trials. Well, so far we've had four trials today in our mock trial program. We started with a not guilty verdict. Um, then we had a hung jury. Then we had a guilty verdict where our defendant was arrested. And then we had another hung jury. The trials have all gone great. All of Mrs. Engel's classes have been really prepared and put on really good trials. Last Thursday, with fourth period trial having a hung jury, and two people were saying Drew Delaney, the head coach, was innocent, and nine was saying he was guilty. The two people arguing were Trex Jones arguing for Drew Delaney's innocence and Natalie Romo arguing for her point of him being guilty, resulting in the second hung trial. The other trials ended with one guilty verdict and one innocent verdict. And that's all from mock trials today. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Elena. We're starting to do student council. We already have a few competitions. We have three people running for president for next year. Their names are Ben Rush, Gabrielle Hernandez, or Gabriel, I'm sorry, um, and Ava Gomez. After this quick commercial break, we'll continue with INN. Okay, for the next book, it's about a kid whose father goes away for World War I. When he hasn't returned and it's been years, he knows for a fact he's not dead and he must find them. He starts getting these ideas and starts getting clues of where he, where he might be. He finds out that he is shell-shocked from the war and it's, and it's his fight to get his original father back. So this book is called The Safest Lie. It's about a nine-year-old girl named Anna and she uh, she's Jewish and the Holocaust is going on. So she has to be smuggled out of the country. So she has to change her name, her papers, her ID, everything about her. So she goes to an orphanage and then foster care and everybody's, they're like, oh, she's Christian, whatever. And then she gets adopted, well, in foster. It, yeah, those don't mean the same thing. And then the hardest thing for her is to like, forget her old identity and get her new one. So yeah, it's a very suspenseful book. I recommend it. How was your weekend? Great, Nolan, how was yours? It was very good. Wait, isn't there only two weeks left? Yep. So make sure you stay motivated, Ingleside. What? Bye, Bye, Ingleside! Just do it! Come back.